Agriculture, fishing and trade are the main economic activities in Busia County. Being the entry point between Kenya and Uganda, Busia is a thriving trade center where livestock, agricultural products and manufactured goods are traded. Due to climate change, which has obviously affected crop production, farmers have now sought alternative enterprises that seem to be more viable, such as poultry farming. Jane Otieno is a poultry farmer in Busia County, Teso South Sub-County. She is keeping the broiler breed and is currently preparing a brooder to receive a batch of Koroila chicken, which will be delivered soon. I started farming some 10 years back. I just loved chicken. I loved seeing them and I loved keeping them. Also, I was also influenced by my friends who had some and were doing well as they were keeping them. So I developed interest. So I started keeping the kienyeji. They never did so well. The broilers also had the problem, challenges, whereby we could not get the market for them. I stopped also for some time. Then later on, after some time, the croilers came into the market and I started keeping croilers. They were doing well, although challenges were there of diseases, of security, and also feeds. <coughs> Jane Otieno attended a seminar in Tanzania where they got training on proper poultry management. Success or failure of a poultry business depends largely on how a farmer looks after the chicks during their initial days of life after hatching. Brooding should therefore be carried out with utmost care in provision of artificial heat to chicks until they grow sufficient feathers and are able to regulate their own body temperatures. Mostly we are trained how to do brooding not actually bringing them up to maturity, but to brood them up to week four. There we were taught several things concerning the poultry. The most important issue we learned was biosecurity, whereby as we were bringing up, or the way we were to bring up the chicken, we are not supposed to use any antibiotic on them. The only thing we are supposed to look at, cleanliness was the first thing, whereby you start by preparing the house. After building the house, you prepare it well, you clean it, you spray it, you do fumigation. After that, you spread the lime down, as there are some pathogens which can it can help to kill them. So after cleaning, you, you spray, disinfect, then after that you do fumigation. But may, before you do fumigation, you have to you put some lime on the floor before you put the sawdust. And I said the lime is important because there are some small and bacteria and whatever which can be helped by the lime can help to kill them. It's also, after putting the lime, you put the sawdust. After putting the sawdust, you spray again. So prior to the day of bringing the chicken, you have to do fumigation 24 hours before arrival. Then when the chicks arrive, before the arrival, we do some preparations whereby you have to get drinkers ready, you have to get feeders ready. So when the chicken arrives or the chicks arrives, the room is ready with light, also with heat. So as they arrive, they should get the house warm. So when they arrive, they must get the feeds ready on the trays and they must also get water ready on the trays, I mean on the drinkers. Water is involved in every aspect of animal metabolism. It plays an important role in regulating body temperature, digesting food, 
and eliminating wastes. At normal temperatures, chickens typically consume twice as much water as feed. To remain healthy, poultry flocks require water of adequate quality and quantity. The chicks are supposed to take water all throughout and feed them properly. Also, if you don't give them enough water, they dehydrate and they can die easily. So the most important thing we are looking at was cleanliness. You make sure the feeders are cleaned properly, the drinkers are well kept. Also, the air flow is very important. Even if you put the heat of charcoal, make sure there is a moderate temperature which cannot hurt me as well as the chicken. Broiler chicken are bred and raised specifically for meat production. Jane started by keeping 500 birds but has since then decreased the numbers due to unavailability of a ready market for a broiler chicken. So when I started with broilers, I started with 100. I could go to 200. But last year, I brought 500 of them. And in fact, they were the age mates of the Sasso when I brought them. So we kept them so well. They came up well. But marketing is the problem. You can't get a customer who can come and pick all of them. It's not easy. Most cases we have the customers from the border, those ones who roast the chicken. So maybe one comes to take 10, 20, 30, like that. Then the last bunch is now 200. I've been reducing because of marketing. The day they reach, you also prepare the house. You must warm the house, which means there should be some heat inside. Secondly, the feeds must be there before they arrive. The floor, the room should be vaccinated, sawdust and whatever should be available. So as they arrive, all those are necessary. Then we start feeding them. The first feeds we give them is uh, crumbs, starter crumbs. Starter crumbs, we give them up to three, three weeks. By now, I've started introducing them to finisher. We don't give them growers. So at the age of three weeks, they start combining the finisher with starter crumbs so that they move to another level of feeds. Continue up to the eighth week whereby I should start selling them. But you know, some do struggle for food and they grow very fast. So by the age of six weeks, we'll start picking the ones which are mature already. But by the eighth week, they should be out completely. Although it's not so much possible because you can't get the market, ready made market is not available. That's what we really lack in Busia County. So we request the Ministry of Agriculture, if they can come in full to boost us also, even to give us some loans to upgrade the poultry, we could be also very happy. Jane has two separate structures. One is where she brings in the chick for brooding purposes. The next is where the birds are bred to full maturity. She now takes us to one of the structures where she has three-week-old broiler chicken. I, in fact, they added me 24. Mortality is only two from the day I brought them. I've tried to do biosecurity, so they are not dying as such. I've given them the all vaccination they need for the time being, and they are doing well. have to put some heat there. The chicks must get the room warm. So we use those jikos to give us some heat. Then we prepare the drinkers, the feeders. You wash them well. You also disinfect the drinkers and the feeders. Then you prepare the water. We do add some glucose as the chicks travel from far away. You have to put some glucose for strength. Then also some vitamin in the water to make them at least strong as they come. 
Now I said they are three weeks old and you can see some crumbs inside here. So you can't start straight away with the, when you want to change the feet. You can't give them direct when you are changing. So you have to mix some crumbs with the finisher. So there are some crumbs here. This is the third week. I have started now mixing the crumbs with the finisher to feed them. So we are now, by tomorrow, they will feed by, because we started yesterday, they will feed on this totally. No crumbs now. If you want a ready-made market, you should not deny them and wait feed. If you deny them, they will start eating the sawdust down here. So they should have feed 24 hours. So drinkers, we wash them twice in a day. In the morning, they should be cleaned well. In the evening also we should clean them. So at least morning and evening they are cleaned.